Hello everyone, my name is Veronica. Welcome to my channel where we like to do more and spend less because oh no, we do not like to pay full price. Welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica. I'm glad you're here. If you are new, hello, hola. If you're returning, welcome back. It's been a minute, a little bit of a minute since I've done a video here at home, in my desk, in my little area. Some things have changed. I started to get a bit organized with my bags. I was inspired by Jackie from Jack's Bag, Bag Attack. She has... um a lot of her bags hung on her wall. And I was like, you know what? I need to do that. And I have some other organization over here that I will share later when I'm fully done. But today, today, I want to share another, another purse I bought, I know. If you saw my last video where I unveiled the PS1 medium princess schooler PS1 bag, which I proclaimed I might, might have found purse piece with this bag. Um, this is a bag that I've been wanting for many, many years. I found a good deal on it. I found the color I wanted. Um, the stars aligned and I was able to get it. And yeah, it was one of my dream bags. Um, and I lied. I lied and I failed. I bought another bag. If you haven't seen my little Shop With Me videos, I did two short kind of short videos shopping with me at Nina Marcos last call um, I showed you some designer shoes at amazing deals I showed you some handbags at amazing deals and it was one of those things where I was not expecting or looking to buy anything I just went in to see what they had and it was like okay if you do not buy this you're going to regret it later because you like it, it's beautiful, it's on sale with extra percentage off. It was just, like I said, the stars aligned again for me um, and I had to get it. So I'm gonna share it here with you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm like inching my way to 500 subscribers. So go ahead, help a sister out. <laughs> Doesn't cost you anything. Um, hit subscribe. If you like these kind of videos, give us a thumbs up share like comment you know all that youtube stuff okay so um my desk is a little bit messy so i decided to do a stand-up type video um i worked from home today because i'm in southern california we had this hurricane hillary tropical storm that came in so a lot of employers decided to either close for the day or let people work remotely so i worked remotely today so yeah my desk is is all over the place anyways there it is let's let's get to why you're all here here it is, Nina Marcus Last Call. If you have a Nina Marcus Last Call anywhere near you, go check them out. I have found amazing deals recently. Designer clothes, handbags, shoes, jewelry. They have a lot of good stuff. And a lot of it will say it came directly from the Nina Marcus store, which is probably stuff that's a season or two pass. Overstock, didn't sell, what have you which is okay with me. If I could get a deal on something that I love that's a designer, that's very expensive and I could get get it for cheap, then I'm happy. So here it is, I'm gonna share with you. If you haven't seen my video, I'll link it. You go see all the other bags that are available and this is the one. This is one I showed in that video that I had to get and I'll show you. And, um, you may or may or may not be surprised when you see it if you've been following my channel. Ugh, where is it? Okay. Do, 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 do. Here it is. Proenza Schooler. Yes, another Proenza Schooler bag. You guys, I've been naughty, naughty, naughty. Um, the past three, I would say within the past three months, three to four months, I bought... This will be my third Proenza Schooler bag. Oh, I have it over there. So I bought the little tiny PS1, which I'll link that video. And then about a month or so later, I found the dream medium PS1. And then this is my third Proenza Schooler bag. 
Um, just a little hint, it is not a PS1 bag. Although they did have one that I really liked. But anyways, let me show you. Let's stop, let's stop talking and show. Let's show more and talk less. Here she is. This is the Proenza Schooler Rouge Tote because it has ruching here. You guys, first of all, it smells amazing. The leather smells amazing and it is so soft. It almost feels like a, like a tortilla, <laughs> like a flour tortilla when it's all soft and, and buttery. Oh my God, yes, yes. I compared my leather bag to a tortilla. What can I say? I think I'm hungry. Okay, so this is the bag, you guys. I had seen this bag when I was shopping for that one online during the Princess Schooler sale, which by the way, if you're interested in Princess Schooler, check them out when they're having their sales. They have a really good 50 to 65% off their sale items. Awesome. So I had seen this bag and I was like, you know what? That looks interesting. I like it. I'm curious. But of course, I wanted to see it in person because... Um, the only thing about Princess Schoolers sales when they have those amazing deals, um, final sales. So you can't really return anything, exchange it. So I didn't want to buy anything that I wasn't sure of or that I had seen for myself in person. So they had this one at the Nina Marcus last call. It is, this is the large size, which doesn't look, it's a good size. It doesn't look huge, but it doesn't look tiny either. They do have a few sizes in this bag. It's called the Rouge Tote. This is in the forest green tie-dye. So it's like a tie-dye effect on it. Can you see Prenza's schooler there? In like gold. Look at the detail of the leather. Okay, let's do a little spin. And the bottom is just no feet, but you know, smooth black leather. So this texture is a little bit different than the one here. It has these handles that are not adjustable, but they are a very good drop for us bigger girls with bigger arms. And it just has one button, which opens up like that. And one thing I liked about it was, it has a little pouch. Is it removable? Yes, it is. So it has a little pouch and you can remove it there, you just Open that up and remove the pouch, which I don't want to do right now. So pouch is removable, which is good because, you know, most of us ladies that carry totes always have a little pouch in there to carry our stuff. So it smells so amazing. It's just black leather, um, simple, smooth black leather made in Italy. I don't know if you could see it up there at the top. So yeah, and the inside does not have a lining. It is just like the back part of the leather kind of suede. Um, I'm not like upset about the light color, but I'm just gonna have to be a little extra cautious. So I'm, I may get a um, insert thingy organizer. Yeah. So it has button closure. And then the cool thing about this bag is you could wear it like this, just, you know, regular, normal, or you could push in the sides like that. And you have a completely different purse, isn't that cool? I just really, really like the size, the style, the leather, <sighs> amazing. Um, so you could have it, you know, a little bit on the smaller side. or if you need more room on the bigger side. So this is a very cool tote. Princess Schooler has been one of my favorite um, designers for a while, but I hadn't really had anything from them because, you know, price point. But now I'm starting to find them at amazing deals. Um, so yeah, this is my new purse, Princess Schooler um, Rouge Tote in the tie-dye forest green. And I was reading the reviews on it and somebody said that they love it, but it looks like a watermelon. So they call it their watermelon purse. And ever since I read that review comment, 
I can and see it. So I guess I have a watermelon purse too, which I'm okay with. So let me tell you what I paid. Here's my receipt. So this bag retails, which some websites still have it currently for full price. Um, ten. Ten ninety five. So the retail price is ten ninety five, um, which is you know not cheap, but not as expensive as some other some other designer totes that aren't even full leather. Yeah, so ten ninety five, not too bad. Um, the sale price um, is five forty seven fifty. So about half price, I believe. So five forty seven for this. But to the day I went to um, Nina Marcus, they were having an additional percentage off. Some purses were 30, 40, 50 percent off. I ended up getting this for an additional 40 percent off. Yes, I know. Amazing. Um, so my price was three twenty eight fifty. Three hundred and twenty dollars and fifty cents. Um, there are some coach purses that are around this price. This one retailed for four fifty. And um, this tote I bought from Coach, obviously it didn't pay full price, but it retailed for four, $400, 450 as well. So getting this one for three, $3.28 is a really good deal, actually. You guys, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I think it's very unique, very different. Um, they did have the extra large in black, but I thought it was a little bit too big and I wanted to stay away from black bags. So when I saw this color combination, I thought this is gonna be great for the fall. Um, I tend to wear a lot of black, gray, green. I think it looks pretty cool with my stripes today. What do you think? We'll try to add some mod shots at the end. But yeah, you guys, Friends of Schooler, I think is a very underrated brand. I do see videos online about them, but I don't think I, I don't think they get enough publicity, enough credit, enough love. I think the quality is amazing. The styling is pretty modern, a little more edgy. So I get it why some people don't like it. It's, it's not your classic type of handbag, obviously more modern more edgy different which is more my style which i love so i just wanted to share with you guys i am gonna ban myself <laughs> i'm gonna ban myself at least till till closer to the holidays there is another bag that i want that's on my list but i'm gonna wait now that i have this one i have to wait on that other one but if you guys um let me know what you think of my parenza schooler rouge tote it's different um, I don't know her name, but I'll post it down below. There's this, um, I didn't find very many reviews on this, but I did find this one lady who, um, yeah, and this is direct from Nina Marcus, who actually got this bag about a year ago. She got it during the Princess School sale, and she actually said, um, in her video, she did the comparison, believe it or not, but she said she thinks she loves this tote more than her uh, Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Yeah, she was even shocked. She says she was even shocked that she likes it more and thinks it's probably a better tote. Don't know what to say. I don't own any Louis Vuitton. Um, they're really not my jam as far as it as far as handbags go, but just goes to show you, yes, Louis Vuitton is popular. Louis Vuitton will get a lot of views. Louis Vuitton is everywhere, which is kind of one of the reasons why I'm not gravitating towards Louis Vuitton. I don't dislike them. I just don't really love them. Like I love Prince of Schooler and Coach and all these other brands, but yeah, let me know what you think. My new tote. Um, yeah, that's all I have, you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Give our channel a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the Prenza Schooler Rouge Tote. Is this a bag that you would consider buying? Um, if you have a chance to see it in person at the stores, check them out because I think you might be pleasantly, pleasantly surprised at the quality and styling 
And considering it's an all leather made in Italy luxury designer bag, $10.95 isn't too bad because I know Dior, Fendi, a lot of other brands have tote bags that aren't even full leather for double, triple the price. So that's it. This is my new Friends of Schooler tote bag and I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe and never pay full price.